Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Toxie Moxie and today I have a really exciting video for you. And it's a Coral Island one. It's my Coral Island Ranching 101. I've had lots of comments that my Coral Island videos are helpful and you seem to like my animal names. I have had a request for a ranching video, so that's what I've prepared today. Ranching can yield a steady income in Coral Island and it's quite easy once you start but the game doesn't explain a lot so hopefully this video will give you all the information and the process to get going. If you're a new player or if you've been playing for a while and you've neglected ranching or you just want lots of money in the game, I've got you covered and I'll go through all of the animals, what you can get from them, how to care for them and also how to get money from them. So let's get started from the beginning. The first animals you'll be able to buy are cows and chickens. These can be bought from the ranch just north of your farm. You'll need housing for them to live in and this can be bought from the carpenter just here on the map, northeast of your farm. Chickens live in the coop alongside quails, peafowls and ducks, which we'll cover later on. To build a coop, you'll need enough clear space on your farm and you'll need 100 wood, 50 stones, 5 bronze bars, 10 fibre and 2000 gold. Once you've paid for it, it will take two in-game days to build and the area it takes up on your farm is just 7 by 4 tiles and it will hold 4 animals. I recommend buying 1-2 to two chickens to start so you have room for the next animals that will come which will be ducks. Chickens will give you eggs daily. So on to cows which are a little more expensive, your cows will live in a barn. The barn can house lots of different animals as well as cows. Later on you'll have sheep, goats, pigs, llamas and luwaks. To build your barn you'll need 8x5 tiles of farm area and I highly recommend building your barn next to your coop. You don't have to but it'll make it much easier to keep them happy later on. To build your barn you'll need 200 wood, 100 stone, 5 bronze bars, 10 fibre and 3000 coins. It will take 2 days to build just like the coop and the cows can be milked daily. To milk the cows however, you need to purchase a milk pail from the ranch for 300 gold. The big question everyone has is how do I keep my animals happy? To keep your animals happy, you have to make sure you feed them every day. So make sure they are stocked up with hay. To obtain hay, it can be found by cutting weeds and grass, but it can also be bought from the ranch all year round and also the animal festival for a discount in summer. Building a silo from the carpenter will store all of your hay so you'll have access to it in your animal housing. Your silo can be placed anywhere on your farm, mine is right at the bottom but if you decide to move your silo or edit it in any way, you'll lose your hay. So hay is not always guaranteed, but how can I keep my animals fed? Well remember I said it was a good idea to put the barn and coop next to each other? Well by sectioning off an area and buying grass starter seeds from Sam's, you can have a grass area outside of your animal housing. If you let your animals out every day by ringing the bell, they can eat the fresh grass and get fresh air. This is what they like. But, 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 do not let them out in winter or when it's raining. They don't like that and it can make them unhappy or sick. One thing to mention is that you will need to keep your animals warm in the winter and you can do this by buying a temperature machine for 600 from the ranch and this will ensure that your animal is warm all the time, just place it anywhere inside your barn or your coop. You'll need to pet them every day, yes every single day. Later on you will be able to buy an auto petter but for now to keep your animals happy just let them out every day if it's not raining or winter to graze and get fresh air. Make sure that their grass is there for them to eat. Pet them every day. I find this easy to do first thing when I wake up. I let them out, pet them and then go about my day. I suppose I should address the animal names. Yes they are mostly members of ATs. I like ATs. I'll let you guess my bias in the comments, all of your crops will be blessed if you can get it right. So now you should have at least one cow and one chicken, hopefully two of each but one is fine. If you've been playing the game as normal and farming as much as you can, let's break down what you can make from having the cows and chickens. After collecting some eggs and milk, while well you can sell them raw for money, raw I mean unprocessed not uncooked. The key to ranching is refining your animal produce. For eggs, we can take them and start to make mayonnaise and salted eggs. 
To make mayonnaise, you need to just put one egg in a mayonnaise machine. To obtain a mayonnaise machine, you'll either need to craft it if you've reached level two in ranching mastery, or you'll be gifted one in the mail after you've completed the quest farming challenge part three. To complete this, you need to ship or sell a hundred crops. This is a passive quest, so you don't need to go anywhere to pick it up. As long as you meet the requirements, you'll get it. For salted eggs, you'll need a mason jar. Now it actually took me a while to figure out that you could put eggs in the mason jar, but this gives you salted eggs, which of course you can sell for more than regular eggs. The mason jar will be craftable once you reach level three in farming and it only requires 30 wood and 12 glass. Now let's move on to milk. Just like the salted eggs, milk can be placed in the mason jar to make butter, or it can be made into cheese in the cheese press. The cheese press will be unlocked when you reach level 4 in ranching or by completing the barn animals section in the lake temple. So by now you should be a little more proficient with ranching while doing your day to day tasks on your island and exploring right? Hopefully you've been exploring and diving as once you manage to find bronze kelp while diving this will unlock your ability to craft an extractor. This machine turns kelp into essence. To make essence, you need 10 kelp and one glass. By making kelp essence, you can take eight bronze kelp to the laboratory and pay 2,000 to increase the quality of your hay. This is vital for getting higher quality animal products. This can be repeated at each quality level, so eventually you'll have osmium quality hay. It's time to introduce some more animals, yay! <laughs> you'll need tan rank E to unlock the ducks and sheep. Again, these can be bought from the ranch. And for the sheep, you also need to purchase shears to trim their wool off. These are 400 coins from the ranch. The ducks cost a thousand and the sheep cost 2000. And of course the ducks live in the coop and the sheep in the barn. Just like the chickens, duck lay eggs and duck eggs can be processed into duck mayo and salted duck eggs. But these yield more money than regular chicken eggs. Sheep give you wool to make wool cloth. There is a scarecrow recipe that uses wool, but other than that, there's not much use for wool at the moment, apart from gifting wool cloth and also wool for the advanced barn animals altar offering. Once you reach level six in ranching, you'll be able to craft a loom to process the wool. When you reach town rank D, you'll unlock quails and goats. Again, the same thing as previous milk and eggs. You'll be able to make the same thing. So quail mayo and quail salted eggs and goat milk and goat cheese. However, for these animals, you will need to upgrade your barn and coop to level two from the carpenter. If you want to do both at the same time, you'll need 60 hardwood, 150 stone, 20 fiber and 11K. It is the price to upgrade both of them, not each individually. You might be thinking, do I need these animals? The answer is yes. The higher the town rank, the better the animals equals the more produce. Goats are one of my faves because the goat's cheese wheels are very easy money when processed into aging barrels, which is what we've been waiting for. Aging barrels are essential and key to getting lots of money through ranching. They're not craftable right away, but once you have them, they are amazing. Hopefully you've been upgrading your tools or at least your axe because you'll need at least a gold axe to get into the forest to chop hardwood. But if you don't have one yet and you need some hardwood quickly, the hardwood on your farm can be blown up with explosives, the huge logs. Just set the explosive down next to the hardwood and it will explode and you'll get some that way. You'll unlock the recipe for the aging barrel at level 10 farming, completing the rare artisan offering at the Lake Temple or reaching level 8 farming for the farming challenge 4 quest. Again, this is a passive quest so you don't need to pick up anything. So you have your aging barrel, you have some animals, what now? Well, all the items you've made, minus the wool and mayo, you can process. It's also not limited to animal products. In my money making video, you can check out what other items you can place inside. So let's keep it simple. Any cheese or cheese wheels turn into fermented cheese or fermented cheese wheels. Salted eggs of any kind turn into century eggs and Gesha coffee turns into aged Gesha coffee. Once you can craft aging barrels, I highly recommend you craft loads of them. We've got a few more animals to go over, so just hang in there because some of these are really cute. At town rank C, you're going to be accessing peafowls and pigs. At the moment, peafowls give feathers, 
which are no use apart from a large feather which you need for the rare ranching products offering at the altar and you can also use it in the harvest festival. So the remainder of feathers you can sell but bear in mind the peafowl does cost 20,000 to buy. Pigs are 12,000 and are one of my favourites. For pigs they will give you truffles. You need to let them outside which you should be doing daily as long as it's not winter or raining for them to find truffles. This means in winter you won't have any truffles. They'll sniff in the grass to find them and there are black truffles and white truffles just like the small and large versions of other products. They can be sold raw but you can place them into an oil press and you'll get truffle oil. Oil press you ask? Well if you've been foraging and reach level 8 you'll be able to craft one or if you complete the basic cooking offering you'll get one as a reward. Placing one truffle gives you one truffle oil which is one of my favourites because the selling prices are really good. That leaves just two more animals and hopefully you are town rank B or higher by now. It is a grind but it's worth it. Llamas and Luwax. Llamas are sold in pairs for 30k. Just like wool, not much use for llama wool but you'll need one large llama wool for the rare ranching products offering at the altar. Luwax on the other hand are 30k each and operate like the pigs. They need to be outside in grass to find Gesha coffee beans. These beans can be placed into a keg to make Gesha coffee and then that coffee can be further refined into aged Gesha coffee from the aging barrel. When you are a little more advanced or just as you go I recommend taking a trip to the lab to purchase an auto feeder and an auto petter which really speeds up time. From rank D you'll be able to get these and you will need some wool for the auto petter but once you buy them you will then have the recipe. The auto feeder just attaches at the top because for the longest time I didn't understand how to put it down just be sure that your silo is stocked with hay. The selling price of all these items depends on your quality and whether you have the product price skill unlocked. So I'll sell some of these items and you can see what kind of prices you can expect. I feel like ranching can be a little confusing especially when there's no clear help of what animal products can be used for. I honestly enjoy ranching, it's fun as well as making other artisan products. If you got to the end of this video I really appreciate it. And if it helps, let me know in the comments below. If you have any questions, I'm always happy to help. Just leave me a comment and I'll reply. Be sure to have a look at my other Coral Island videos if you found this one helpful too. I hope you enjoy my animal names. Let me know if you also like 80s. Thank you again for watching. Take care. Bye.